What is up everyone, this is Omega Belmong here, and again with another comic book pickup of the week. Uh, this week is Saturday, of course, it's going to be my new schedule for uh, comic book pickups because, as you know, I'm kind of busy during the weekend now, so uh, I won't be able to get, to get to them as early as I used to, maybe around Thursday or Fridays when I usually post my videos, but uh, this week, or for now, it's probably going to be either Saturday or Sunday. So I want to keep it a set schedule for Saturday because it's a lot easier to do it on Saturday than uh, a Sunday. But uh, anyways, uh, as of course, if you're new to the video, this is just pretty much a roundup of uh, the books that I'm able to pick up this week. It's not a round of, round of books that, you know, came out this week. It's just the books that are, well, these are our new books too, but uh, I'm not able to pick up every a new issue of something so uh, I used to be able to or at least get half of it but now it's I have to kind of limit myself down to maybe nine-ish, ten-ish books so uh, it is what it is but anyways let's get started here uh, first off is The Amazing Spider-Man issue six uh, from Marvel and this one of course we have it's still the ongoing story of a black cat trying to pretty much take down uh, Spider-Man so uh, if you remember from the Superior Spider-Man, Spider uh, Doc Ock kind of messed up a uh, black cat. So, black cat. So it's she's kind of just uh, trying to get back at Peter Parker, or as she knows during that time it was Peter Parker. But uh, she's trying to get back and uh, team up with different villains. And this one you actually see Electro. Uh, she's teaming up with Electro, and there's a few uh, pretty cool characters like Silk is a new kind of like Spider Girl kind of type deal. It's if you have read the story so far, uh, Peter Parker is not the only one that was bitten by the spider. So uh, it was another uh, person that's bitten. It was a lady here, a girl, and uh, after Peter uh, freed her, she became uh, her. She named herself Silk. So uh, and this one it kind of starts out pretty funny uh, with Black Cat. Uh, pretty much, I'm asking uh, Spider-Man, and uh, <laughs> as uh, she's doing this, she has actually Jane. James, uh, James Jonah, Jameson, that's his name was, right? Jonah. Uh, he's like, you know, like, oh, I know who Peter Parker is, or where I'm asking Peter Parker, and he's like literally standing right in front of the camera. His whole head and shoulders are like in front of the camera. You can't see uh, who Peter is, so he kind of messes that up for everybody. Everybody's like, oh, no, we're going to figure out who Spider-Man is. And then, uh, nope, because his head was blocking the way. So that's kind of a funny way to do it, kind of a stupid way to do it, but at the same time, but it's... It, it is what it is. It's pretty funny. Uh, and then you learn that Silk is kind of uh, a little bit like Spider-Man. Uh, she's throwing these puns out while she's, uh, you know, fighting and things like that. So uh, it's like, I'm picking up, you know, these from you, so, from Peter. So that's pretty awesome. But uh, like I said, it's not going to be one of my top three books. There are three books that are better than this one. This one, I'm not a big fan of this arc so far where with uh, Black Cat trying to get back at Peter. Uh, I'm just not a big fan of that as of right now, so uh, hopefully uh, it ends soon and we can get a little bit, you probably go to a different arc, but so far it's it's, it's been okay. Uh, next up is Captain Marvel from uh, Marvel, of course. Uh, this is uh, issue 7. I think this is where we get a new writer and artist, I think so. Maybe the writer is still the same, but we get a new artist. Uh, this one is uh, it's pretty much a downtime for Captain uh, Marvel or, or Carol Dan Denvers. Uh, if you remember from last time, she pretty much took on a fleet by herself or kind of by herself. So on this one, she gets her ship back. Or is it her ship? I think it's her ship back. And uh, it's uh, it's been run by a, a rocket, ro rocket raccoon, of course. And there's some funny stuff like that. <laughs> and uh, there's some, it's some funny stuff that goes on in here, like, of course, he says that the uh, Captain Marvel's cat lays eggs and stuff like that, and, and then in the towards the end, you actually see uh, her cat. I think what's his name again? I can't remember his name. Uh, the cat uh, is laying by. It's like kind of the next to a bunch of eggs and stuff. He's like, "Oh, I told you that's what it is. It does lay eggs," and it was just kind of funny. Uh, pretty stuff like that. But it's pretty much a downtime. She gets her ship gets a, attacked, so uh, we'll find out who. Uh, and hopefully in the next issue we find out who uh, attacked her. So, uh, next off is another one from Marvel. There's a lot of Marvel books this week. A lot of really good Marvel books. So, uh, this one is 
uh, Edge of Spider-Verse, Spider-Man Noir. So, if you guys have played the game, uh, is it Shattered Dimensions? Uh, from, uh, for the PS3, 360, PC, and maybe some other ones, but those were the main three, three that I know. Uh, Spider-Man Noir is from like 1939. I think it was said 1939s. He gets a, a different way of getting his uh, spider powers, and pretty much they go out through. Uh, of course, this kind of evolves in. If you remember what, uh, can't remember what Superior Spider-Man 32 or 33. Uh, you have Superior Man, Superior Spider Man, of course, uh, Doc, uh, going around, you know, grabbing all these Spider Mans. Uh, you actually see that happening in here. You see the, I don't remember what his name was, that text, uh, all the Spider Mans, and uh, you see Doc uh, coming and helping him out, and then taking him into the future, wherever they're going to, or yeah, yeah. so it should be the future, which is 2099, uh, and he's pretty much you, you learn a little bit of, of Spider Man Noir. Uh, how he got his powers, a little bit of, uh, you know, these characters. Of course, these are characters from different universes. So you have Mysterio in here, which is the main, kind of the main bad guy. Uh, you see a little bit of Kingpin, uh, Felicia Hardy, uh, who else? MJ. Uh, and you see all this pretty cool stuff. Uh, uh, you get a little bit of uh, a talk of Green Goblin, and it's pretty cool to see, uh, you know, Spider-Man a different universe. Uh, not one in the main timeline, but more in like you know, see it before. Uh, he has all these kind of cool uh, gadgets and little things like that. So it's pretty cool to see that. And of course, this kind of goes into uh, some other uh, books too. Uh, I think there's one that's coming out maybe next week or in a few weeks here. Uh, should be issue two, which is I'm really looking forward to. I'm 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 int uh, interested in you know the Spider Verse. Uh, books uh mostly i want to see what's what what are, what are they going to do into that so we'll see what happens uh next up is inhuman uh issue five and this one we have this guy i don't remember his name was he's uh black bolts uh it was a cousin uh he used to be one of the rulers of the inhumans i guess i have known nothing about inhumans i i am interested in the book because it seems interesting uh so anyways uh he's back kind of trying to Post to Medusa. He does have a plan that he's going to be doing. Uh, so every, and of course Medusa don't really trust him anyways. Uh, he used to have these power really strong inhuman powers. Uh, so uh, of course at the end something happens and he gets it back. So uh, we'll see what happens. Now it's not going to be about something else. It's going to be uh, trying to take take him down. I guess so. We'll see. We'll see what happens to the inhumans in this one. So. Uh, Looking forward to the next issue. Uh, next up is uh, from Boom Studios. This is Hexed. And of course, I really enjoyed the first one. This table is a little bit off. Either that or this, this thing is a little bit off. But uh, I really enjoyed the first one. I do like the um, kind of witchcraft. I don't know, is it witchcraft or anything like that? Uh, it seems pretty cool. But in this one, you have Lucifer. And of course, from the last uh, book, uh, she goes. She pretty much kills herself, and then goes into uh, what was what is it? Uh, limbo, kind of where all the ghosts and demons and stuff are. And she's kind of looking for the intern. So I don't remember what the intern's name was, but it's the intern, I guess. Uh, <laughs> is looking for her, his soul or her soul. And uh, pretty much she go through, and she's like, you know, I've been dead before. Uh, they know who I am because last time I was here, I pissed off everybody. And you see it's pretty cool chases and stuff like that. Uh, you see that the physics are different uh, once you know you go down into it uh, into that limbo world the physics aren't really there anymore you could pretty much jump off buildings and land and stuff like that you kind of have to throw that out of your mind she kind of talks about that in, in here and, uh, and of course she does get her soul back uh, the intern's soul back so uh, we'll see what happens uh, when uh, the next issue comes out so uh, next is uh, Terminal Hero Issue 2. Uh, this one, of course, if you remember from uh, Issue 1, this is uh, uh, the main character has cancer, brain cancer, and he becomes, he kind of is dying, but then his friend was like, oh yeah, I, I have this uh, experiment that, you know, uh, some, you know, just something happened and they kind of just threw it all away. Not threw it all away, but they closed it down. So, uh, 
his friend injects him with all this um, this experimental drug, and now he has pretty much uh, not super, uh, kind of superpowers. Uh, he could he pretty much kill anybody in an instant. Uh, <laughs> he thinks about it, and then they die. And uh, you see him in this one. The main character is working with the government because they're like, if you know, if you don't work with us, we could turn a lot all all these things around uh, against you. Uh, I would not recommend this for kids. This is a adult, straight adult. There are nudity in here. There are uh, drugs, and you know, of course, he takes drugs like crazy. He's uh, in these sexual acts and stuff like that. So it's not, it's not for kids, and you can tell from I think the covers. Uh, kind of can show it already with a gun pointed at his head and shooting at him. But uh, the main character is just OP in this one. Uh, he actually meets the guy that I mean, made the drugs. And, uh, you know, the guy is like, oh, yeah, you have to kill me because this it's not supposed to be like this and, and other things like that. So uh, it's it's actually pretty cool. Man, I might have to drop this one. Uh, like I said, it's uh, well, well, I want to see where it's going at before I really want to drop but drop it. But uh, at the end of this book, he actually... Uh, pretend that he's dead he takes over somebody else's body uh, or somebody else's looks and all that so we'll see what happens but uh, I might this is one of the books that I might have to drop but uh, you know before dropping it of course I would I'm gonna try to read at least the next few uh, books to see if, if it changes my mind on that but uh, interesting book but like I said it's 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 okay it's okay it's a book I could drop uh, because you know with all these books that are coming out uh, <laughs> I just don't have time for everything, so. Anyways, uh, next off is, up is, uh, it's, it's, I don't know, it's a book. It's actually like a big old magazine of, uh, it's the 75th anniversary of uh, Marvel. So they gave out this book. It's, it's oh, I can't even get it to go straight, but uh, I don't know, I can't remember if I bought this book. It was like a buck, or I think it was might have been free. Uh, but in here, they just talk about different uh, parts of, you know, Marvel during his early years, um, you know, 1960s, 70s, 80s, 90s, and stuff like that, so, uh, and then, and they talk about a lot of the, new, new, the newer books and a lot of, uh, like, uh, artists and things like that, so, if you get a chance to pick this up, it's actually pretty cool, I think it was free, so, uh, I mean, if it's free, might as well pick it up, right, it's worth a shot, I got this, like I said, I ordered it. I don't know if the local comic book stores have uh, any issues or anything like that with this or any of the, the books here. But, uh, yep, it is free. So, it's free edition. Uh, so, if you're in a comic book store, you see it. Uh, it's free. So, just pick it up. It's a pretty cool read. You get some pretty cool stuff in here. You then, like I said, I'm looking through here. They talk about uh, Hulk, and the Fantastic Four, Avengers, Daredevil, and all these pretty cool stuff. Uh some cool drawings, some artist work, um, toys, and stuff like that. So, and probably the movies in here too. Um, newer the movies that are coming up. So, uh, anyways, uh, next up up is my top three books of this week, and of course, uh, there was one book in here that's always probably going to be in my top three. So, uh, I might have to change that up <laughs> because to give it a fair a shake for the other books here, but uh, uh, first off is uh, Superman Unchained uh, from DC Comics. This is issue eight. So you have pretty much the I think it might have been might be the end of arc for this uh, this arc right here. So uh, you have Superman by fighting against Raph or Rafe or something. I don't remember. How, I don't know how to say his name, but I think it's Raph. Uh, and it's pretty cool. I mean. Uh, he's Superman in this one is going like just duking it out. He's just fighting like fighting like crazy, and you know he knows that he can't beat him, but he got he has to keep going, and uh, you know keep struggling to fight this guy. This guy is about uh, probably stronger than Superman because he has the same type of powers. Superman he absorbs uh, sunlight and turns it into energy, uh, which he's actually really good at. So uh, pretty much he has unlimited en uh, energy while Superman. Uh, he even says to himself, like, uh, if we were friends, I would have taught you how to do this, and you would have been super strong. So, uh, you actually see the ending fight to this, uh, which is pretty cool. He's going around, like, saying, he's asking himself, like, 
how would Batman fight this guy? How would Wonder Woman fight this guy? What would uh, Lois Lane tell me to do? And, uh, and stuff like that. So it's pretty awesome. And he beats him kind of a weird way, I guess. He f clob clobbers him into uh, the core of the Earth, the Earth I guess. <laughs> and that's where all the energies are, uh, where where he can't uh, he, he can't absorb any more energy. So he, he beats him that way. It's kind of weird, but uh, pretty awesome stuff. Next up is Miss Marvel. Of course, like I said, this is one of the books that I really just enjoy reading. Uh, it's a good book for every every age. Uh, you know, teens, kids, adults. It's an awesome book. And this one, of course, we get Lockjaw, who is. Uh, I think is he a pet for Medusa, which is the the leader of the Inhumans as of right now. Uh, if you remember from last uh, the last book, uh, you have Wolverine or Captain America telling uh, Medusa about you know we have this Inhuman that is kind of on her own and she's kind of you know figuring things out herself. And uh, Medusa's like, oh maybe we'll just keep watching her and we don't want to bring her here yet, uh, and we'll just keep watching uh, you know watching her from you know, a distant. And of course she sends a lockjaw there. And it's pretty funny <laughs> because it's kind of instant, like you see in the beginning you see Miss Marvel, uh Kamala just going around asking questions about have you seen this person? Have you seen this person? Because the collector, if you remember the collector, uh collects these are collecting these kids and putting them in these uh, mach uh machines that uh are pretty much powered by them. So uh she's kinda of looking for this kid and Lockjaw just appears out of nowhere and says, Lockjaw, free hugs, and it's funny. So, he, you know, he gets, she gets to keep her, him, of course. Uh, he has, so far as I know, he has teleportation powers, which is freaking awesome. He can teleport anywhere he wants to. So, uh, in this book, you have Kamala pretty much uh, finding out where uh, maybe the collector might be. I can't remember if it was where he is stationed, or at least one of one of his base. And he, she fights against this big old giant robot thingy. And, uh, which is pretty funny because she's like, she, you know, takes, takes it on and then Lockjaw helps her and then, uh, and, and then, you know, she's kind of struggling against a robot, but, uh, you know, he, she gets to the core where the core is of, uh, where the, the big old robot is. And then she, instead of like hitting it, she like headbutts it. <laughs> she's like, oh, I should have done that. Uh, it's, it's pretty funny. You still see, can see the, the, uh, you know, immatureness of her because of the fact that she, uh, you know, she's she's gotten better since then, since with uh, with uh, when she was helping Wolverine. I mean, Wolverine has taught her a little bit of you know, doing things, but it's, at the same time, you still see how she's still very inexperienced of doing uh, being a superhero kind of. So it's it's kind of funny, but uh, pretty awesome book as usual. Uh, at the end, it pretty much uh, I think she takes something of the collectors and. Now he's looking for her, and he, uh, he evades the school that she's going to. So uh, we'll see what happens next. And, of course, this is like, what, there's only like two books I have from BC. And this is probably the best, uh, from the features end at least, uh, or the ones I have read so far. This is probably my favorite book uh, from the features end, uh, New 52 features end. Uh, Batgirl, issue one. This is just a one shot as usual. Yeah, just one shot. I think these are all one shots, so. Uh, this book is friggin' awesome. Uh, we have Barbara Gordon, of course, uh, Batgirl. In the beginning, she's getting married, and then his her uh, brother comes and kind of spoils everything and tells you know his uh, her husband to jump off the cliff, and he does do, does do that, jump off the building, and he dies. So, in when that happens, she pretty much goes off the deep end too. She's now she's obsessed about you know. She becomes like Batman, pretty much. <laughs> uh, if you remember, or uh, not Batman as uh, uh, when Batman became Batman, but uh, from where uh, if, when Damien dies, and if you have been reading about the Batman and Robin books, uh, that's how she is pretty much. She just becomes obsessed, obsessed, and she's she pretty much goes straight crazy, and she goes and learns from. Uh, you know, different uh, villains. I mean, there's one we've seen where she's helping Riddler out, uh, Penguin, uh, and then, you know, her real mentor will be on Bane in here. And of course, uh, if you can see from, if not, there are three other 
uh, Batgirlzer. Uh, she is, what is it called? Oh, shoot. Oh, man. She, so, her name is something different. It's not Batgirl anymore, but uh, uh, there are th uh, three other Batgirls. Uh, there's Cassandra Cain. Uh, there's Stephanie Brown. And I don't remember what third Batgirl is, but she's a younger. Maybe like, I remember she's a, about 12 years old or something, 12 or 15, something in that range. Uh, but anyways, awesome book. Uh, yeah, like I said, you see, you see and at the end it becomes, uh, it's a tragic beginning, but I think at the end it becomes a really good uh, ending, a pretty happy ending, I should say, uh, to what what happened. Uh, but like I said, it's it's pretty much just pretty awesome. I mean, I don't know if it's anything different from the other Batman, uh, the Batman, the New 52 Batman uh, books or uh, Futures and Batman books or the, it's different from the, of course, the Detective Comics uh, New Futures and, and book, but uh, like I said, this is my favorite book uh, out of all, all of them so far. You just see some pretty cool stuff. Uh, <laughs> she beefs up, that's all I'm gonna say. She becomes big and almost Bane-like, so, and of course she did go and get trained by Bane, and uh, like I said, it's Freaking awesome! Like, just, if you could pick up any book, I would suggest you from the new, 50, new, uh, new fifty two futures end book. Uh, this would be the book I would suggest you pick up. It's fr freaking awesome. This and maybe Detective Comics, uh, one the, 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 the Detective Comics new fifty two futures end book. So, uh, anyways, that is it for this week. Like I said, I'm trying to keep it uh, at a smaller end, like about ten books a week. Uh, I don't have any back issues anymore because I don't go to the comic book stores uh, anymore and I probably will be doing that again uh, just because I'm like I said maybe I'll go Wednesdays maybe I'll go Saturdays uh, I'm just I don't really feel like paying for tax for uh, not tax but for uh, shipping <laughs> so uh, uh, it's like nine bucks for shipping because I want it by Saturday I don't want it any later than that so uh, anyways uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video here and of course, I'll see everybody next uh, week for comic pickups of the week.